Welcome to Divine Vintage and Antiques. I'm so glad you're here today, my YouTube family and my friends. Today I'm going to share with you some of the jewelry haul of my West Germany and Austria jewelry. I also have some pieces that are not marked and I was hoping you could give me some help uh, in figuring out uh, where they might have come from. So let's begin. Um, this first piece is a pendant necklace and you can see on the um, necklace it's got the beautiful rhinestones. Some of the pearls look like they've lost their um, uh, covering coating but it's got a beautiful height necklace and the back has a beautiful filigree. It is marked West Germany. It has the signature findings. The chain that's seen most with these West German necklaces and it has the clasp and the marking on the jump ring. This second necklace I have here has the Aurora Borealis coating on the main rhinestone. It has some uh, topaz colored, or uh, yellow topaz colored uh, rhinestones, some brown ones. Some of the pearls also have lost some of their coating and has the typical findings, the typical chain. And this one also is marked on the jump ring. You can see the back has a beautiful filigree. And this one as well has some very nice height to it. This next West German uh, necklace is very different from the previous two. First of all, it's just one piece, uh, one thickness of metal. It is marked on the back. It has a clear glass, the rhinestones and pearls. It doesn't have the um, decorative findings coming off of the pendant. It has a typical chain. This West German necklace has matching earrings. It's got a lovely pearl surround. It is a piece of ceramic that's been um, printed with the floral design. It is marked West Germany on the back, and that nice filigree. It has the typical West German findings on the necklace. And these earrings are clip-on. This is a West German brooch with the porcelain photo picture on the front. It has some nice decoration around it. It's marked on the back, West Germany. These three sets of earrings I found at the thrift store all at the same time. They're all marked West Germany. They are what you call a waterfall earring. This one is missing the glass stones that go around the edge of it. These I switched into pierced earrings, as I did with these milk glass and colored stone glass earrings. Now at the same time that I found these at the thrift store, I found some other earrings that weren't marked. However, I wonder if they're from West Germany as well, because they may have been from the same person who donated the uh, three pair West German earrings I just showed you. These have a beautiful pearl and rhinestones. The backside has a nice filigree found with a lot of West German jewelry. They weren't marked, they're clip-ons. 
And um, so I don't know. I'm also wondering if they might be unmarked Miriam Haskell earrings. So if you have an idea and you can share with that with me in your comments, I'd love to hear from you. I have three unmarked rings here that I need your help with. This first one has a beautiful glass stone. It's got a very nice shoulders to it. It is adjustable. This one has a beautiful blue glass stone faceted. It's adjustable as well. And then this one is pretty old, pretty worn. It's very heavy, but I somehow feel that these stones may be Czechoslovakian or Austrian. So if you have any ideas or comments, please leave them for me. This necklace was made in Austria. It's got a very beautiful, delicate chain on it. It's got a lovely stone with a clear back on it, as well as some beautiful green rhinestones. and it is marked Made in Austria. I have a couple of brooches here that are marked Made in Austria. This first one is a nice circular pin with some great height, all prong set, beautiful red rhinestones, marked in the back and has the longer pin so I believe it might be an older piece. This is a beautiful Austrian brooch. It is missing one red, um, one red rhinestone, but it's got some beautiful pearls on it. It is marked Austria. This necklace has some beautiful filigree and some other pearl. It's a similar chain style and weight to the pieces from West Germany. I could not find any marking and it appears that the clasp may have been changed because this clasp is marked 1 20th 12 carat gold filled. And it's much shinier than the rest of the uh, chain and necklace but it is very beautiful so if any of you know where this might uh, have come from that would be lovely to hear so please leave your comments here is a set of crystal necklace bracelet and earrings the bracelet is marked 950 silver and the earrings shined up with the silver paste um, it's beautiful in that it's got the um, variation of the size of the crystals, and they're very, very brilliant crystals. Um, so I'm thinking this might be attributed to Austrian crystal. I don't really know. Beautiful earrings and a bracelet, matching set, matching parure. So let me know what you think. The last piece I have the last piece I have for you today is this beautiful bracelet. Uh, it is brass. It's got a beautiful what we call a Cuban chain on it, fold over clasp. It's very heavy, crystally rhinestones. It's got a lot of height to it, a lot of layers. Um, I really don't know where this may have come from. It's not marked at all. I'm thinking it might be from the 1880s. Please let me know if you have any ideas. It's really a beautiful piece. Well, thank you for joining me today. Um, I hope you enjoyed the different uh, pieces of jewelry I shared with you. 
I will post them on the Facebook page for uh, Western Germany and Austrian jewelry. So thank you again for visiting with uh, Divine Vintage and Antiques, and I will see you soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.